Welcome to video 6 in the pseudocode series. In this video we'll look at how to handle strings. Because being able to manipulate a string is a key skill, the exam board gives us a few extra tools to be able to do this. Manipulating strings involves anything to do with manipulating any text or sentences. A single string can also be referred to as a char. Just a reminder that when we input a value, the default type is to be of type string. So name equals input, enter your name, will automatically be of type string. If we want to assign a string to a variable, we just use the equal sign. So msg for message equals hello world, will assign hello world to the variable message. As you can see in every example, the exam board used double quotes to surround our string. The first double quote tells us where to start. Then we have the word or words or series of characters and then the final double quote to end. In a lot of ways, a string is very much like a 1D array in the previous video. It has an index and we can cycle through each of the letters individually using that index. If I wanted to go through MSG, which contains hello world, I could use a for loop, which is count controlled, to go from zero, our first index, where we'd find H, through to message.length minus one. The exam board expects us to be able to cycle through strings cut them, slice them, or join them together using concatenation, like in the print statement where we're using the plus sign to make a sentence. As already mentioned, each character inside a string gets an index, so computer science would go from 0 to 15, but we'd see that its length would be of size 16. The exam board provide a class variable dot length. If we look at the example where we've got some text equals computer science, if we printed some text.length, that would return 16. In order for us to be able to slice a particular part of a string, we can use dot substring. This is a class method. We have to pass it two parameters, a starting position or a starting index, and how many characters we wish to slice out. If you look at the example, print some text dot substring three comma three would start at index three, P, and carry on for three characters, three, four, five, which is P, U, T. Just a word on the language used. The exam board allow us to use the dot notation. So that's saying that we've got a class and we access both variables and methods of that class using the dot. So string name dot length is a class variable. You can tell that because it hasn't got any brackets after it. Whereas dot substring is a method. It's got a pair of parentheses and it's expecting two parameters. So that is a function, but because it's a function within a class, we call it a method. Now it's up to you to put what you've learned about both arrays and strings together and complete the lesson three exercises. Next time around, we're looking at file handling. 